Hey folks, I'm in Oakland, downtown. Just left Luca's, had a great tasty dinner of steak frites, but I just want to issue a uh, kind of advisory. It's not so much of a complaint, what's well, it's going to sound like it, or a rant. It's going to sound like that too. Okay, I get in, uh, just say, hey, is the kitchen still open? Yeah, because Luca's is known for serving food until midnight. And um, so, have my seat, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and the waitress that was working the area, I mean, look, there was one table, or two tables, that was out of, one, two, three tables, out of one, two, three, out of what, 12 places? Three, yeah. So, uh, the other uh, nine were empty. So, anyway, I finally looked at her and kind of went, hey, you know, and she goes, oh, I'm so sorry, but th get this. When I looked at her at first, looked up at her, she does this. And I thought, what's going on here? All right. So I looked at her. I said, it's, you know, what's up? And to make a long story short, she says, well, I've had a bad day. And so I lost someone special to me. Oh, I'm really sorry. And it turned out that she lost her dog, which is, and she goes, that may not mean too much to anybody. But I said, no, it means something to me. So you know what? I, I gave her a hug. And, but what bothers me is that we're in a society where some people take service jobs but they feed, but they act like it's your job to service them you know and it's an insult to the people who run the business which gets me to the owner Rick and Rick is notorious for doing this he won't in spite of the fact that he knows who I am he won't even walk over or look and say hey man nice to see you okay but he knows damn well who I am so why do I want to go back there if I know that I'm going to get this weird form of emotional abuse from people who, you know, you have to coddle. I mean, when I walk in, I just want to be, I don't mind having, you know, I don't mind that, but my whole point, well, no, actually I do. Because I don't want to have to think about it, right? I, mean, if it, I just don't want to trudge through the issues of people who are supposed to be serving me because I choose to go out to have dinner. That's my choice. And I thought, oh, I'll go to Luca's. I could have went to the alley and ordered from Miss Saigon next door, and I wouldn't have had to put up with that at all because uh, they are wired differently, you know. But this sort of... Some people think that kind of behavior is cool. It's not cool. It's freaking annoying, you know. I... Now, having said that, I am sad that the lady experienced what she experienced. I really am. But what got me was when I looked at her at first, and she looked at me like that, looked away from me. And, you know, she was more attentive to her girlfriend sitting there than me. Uh, and you know what? She's got, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say, I don't want to think anything bad about her. She just needs to understand that she's got to be a little different. That's all. But that comes from the owner. Because if Rick is there and he's, you know, walking around, he doesn't even come by and ask his own, the people that take time to come to his establishment how they're doing, why the hell should they go back? Just make, making a point, that's all. Got to have better service. Flora, we have problems like that at Flora. Flora is just right up the street here, you know, uh, over here on 18th. But Lucas, I'm in town, you know, it's late. I figured I haven't had dinner there in a long time late why the heck not why not you know spur of the moment decision but the steak freaks were good the steak freaks were good and the bus boy was actually nicer to me <laughs> and more attentive than the waitress that ain't right